Satyabama Institute of Science and Technology. Hello everyone, this is Dr. Saranya, Assistant Professor, Department of Computer Science and Engineering, Satyabama Institute of Science and Technology. This video is all about the role of data visualization in big data analytics. To begin with, we need to know about some of the fundamental concept which is supporting for big data analytics. What is data? Data is a collection of raw facts. So this further the data can become information when it is organized and processed in a structured way. So the knowledge is interpreting information to discover patterns. So wisdom is dealing with understanding the patterns, principles of business intelligence to produce insights and foresights of the data. The progression of raw data to valuable insights can be achieved through big data analytics and its tools. So data is too large and complex in nature that cannot be managed with the traditional data processing system. This kind of data is known as big data. So we are always talking about big data, where it is getting from or what is big data, how we are manipulating all these data and maintaining all these data as a storage and analytical process. A smartphone user, consider yourself as a single smartphone user. Okay, every day from the morning to night, we always depends upon the smartphones. Without phone, we cannot able to imagine our lives, right? So as a single user, how much amount of data you are populating in means of text, visuals, audios and videos and mails and online transactions. So a single user is capable of producing 400 zettabytes of data. So imagine over the Indian population or worldwide population, there are 6 billion people are using the smartphones nowadays. So it is enormous in nature. The data produced by the 6 billion smartphone user will be enormous per day. So where is the medium to store all this data? How we can able to handle all those data? That is a big question mark, right? So that can be handled very nicely by the big data analytics tools and platforms. Two, understand more about big data we need to learn about the characteristics of big data. So usually it can be described by five V's. So what are all the five V's? Volume. So the scalability of data or the capacity of data. Another one is velocity. So it is data is transient in nature. How we are receiving the data? What is the speed of the data when it is storing in the source? Another one is variety. So naturally the data can be classified into unstructured, structured and semi-structured. So we have to handle the variety of data for analysis process. Then veracity of data, that is uncertainty or accuracy of the data can be measured in means of veracity. Then finally, value of the data. So the value of the data will be taken from the different perspective for the different user that can be analyzed using the statistical or qualitative and quantitative means of data analysis. Okay, this kind of data can be handled by the intelligent data analysis process or big data analytics process. So generally this intelligent data analysis can be defined as analysis, classification, conversion, organization and reasoning method to extract valuable insights out of it. So it can be consist of three stages. What are all the three stages? Data preparation, data mining and analysis stage, and finally data validation and deployment stage. So the data preparation is also known as pre-processing stage, which is responsible for identify the data sources from the multiple medium and selecting the data out of it to streamline it in a proper structured way, then cleaning the data, that is noisy removal and other pre-processing techniques can be implemented. And finally, the data can be transformed for analysis. This analysis phase can be taken place in means of statistical form. So finally, we can interrupt and evaluate the data as a data validation process. So now we evaluated the data and the conclusion or drawn out of the data. So how we need to present in front of the users, how it will be beneficial for the target users when we are presenting as a inferences. So we have several barriers when we are dealing with the intelligent data analysis. 
So after retrieving the inferences of data, so how we can capture the data, storage capacity, searching of data, sharing data, and how to transfer the data, analysis of data, and presentation of data will be a biggest challenge in means of big data. So we have the final solution for presenting the data in a more meaningful way in or in a contextual way. So that is visualization. So here we are starting the role of data visualization in big data analytics. So in big data analytics, we already discussed about how we are dealing the complex or enormous amount of data in an efficient way. So using the intelligent data analysis process of data preparation, data analysis and data validation process. The finally concluded or drawn inferences can be presented as a visualization to make better understanding. Why visualization? What are all the benefit of visualization or what are all the purpose of visualization? So visualization is nothing but graphical representation of data or information instead of presenting your own information or data. See imagine, so we already dealing with enormous amount of data that may consist of millions of records. How I can present the data? to my users, what they can observe from the millions of record. Is it easy to understand anything out of the millions of record? Not really, right? So we have a challenges when we have huge amount of data. So I want to share the data, okay, right? But it is not possible when we have millions of record or trillions of record over the web. So how efficiently I can transfer my data? So the one of the finest method is data visualization. Okay, so data visualization used to represent the information more clearly and effectively. So we have different formats of representation of visualization. Say for an example, chart, infographics, graphs and maps. So we have several types of maps, graphs. As you know, the entire world can be represented in terms of map. So if you want to travel all around the world, it is quite complex, right? It is not an easy joke. But you can visualize the entire map in a single globe. So that is possible using the visualization. So it is making the more hidden patterns can be identified very easily. So I can able to identify the outliers and trends of the data. Okay, so what is the impact of visualization in human cognition? Okay, so imagine when I'm talking about your childhood, can you able to tell me what was the first newspaper you read or what was the first headlines you read? We cannot able to remember all those things. But if I'm asking you the question, what was your first movie? Can you able to answer? Yes, of course. Even after 10 years, I can capable of explaining the movie I watched before. In news, how it is possible that is the impact of the visualization that can create in a human cognition so after 50 years after 40 years I can able to visually connect my mind what has happened in past present in futuristics if someone is narrating a story can you able to imagine in your illusion or visualization is yes, that is the best part of the human being so that is the biggest advantage of visualization we can connect easily the human being mind can connect easily with the visualization so the ability to absorb the information very quickly so the millions of records or information can be presented in a single image or graph okay that is the biggest advantage and the data can be used to identify the hidden structure of the data. So we can identify the patterns and trends, outliers, strength and weakness of the data very easily. Okay, a single image is capable of explaining or telling you thousand stories. So it is condensed form of information. It, several uh, millions of data can be represented in a single bar chart or a single map. So that is the very finest and easiest way to represent your complex data. So when you take the visualization stage, you can compare this with the IDA. IDA means intelligent data analysis or big data analytics process. So we already discussed about the three stages of data preparation, data analysis and data validation. When you look into the diagram, it is starting from the pre-processing and transformation. So this is dealing with the data preparation stage and we are collecting from the multiple physical and social environment from multiple multiple sources in multiple forms. So that can be analyzed and finally the inferred data can be given to the graphics engine. So this will generate the visualization for human cognitive processing. So what is the benefit when we are presenting the data and what are all the forms we have in general to present the data as visualization. Generally we have several types called 
chart so as you all know the chart is tabular or graphical form which can be displayed usually in a two axis okay so you can use multi dimensional coordinate system also to present your graphs and a diagram so graph is about pointing the uh, lines segments that the relationship between the points and lines can be illustrated very easily so map is a visualization that is shown in the form of different colors different shapes so that is also exhibiting the relationship between the data and information so what is mean by infographic so it is a combination of visualization along with the textual part then dashboard so dashboard is one of the interesting thing what you are using in your social media platform it is all about presenting summarized view or all in one view multiple visualization can be taken that can be presented in all in one view so here are some of the types of charts given for you based on the types of the data you have to wisely choose your chart type so the efficiency of the data representation relies on the data visualization part so we have to be wise enough to choose the charts and the perception it is a important part of the data visualization so what is mean by perception means different viewpoint of a users or different dimensionality of a user when they are dealing with the data so the efficiency of the data can be relies on the perception okay so what to look at what to ignore so if you are proficient in what to look at and what to ignore so probably your data will be visualized in a efficient way so we need to avoid the outliers the deviations when we are presenting the data as a visualization part so it it should be misleading to the graphical representation so we have to be focused in the context of the data representation what is the business problem we have what is the objective of this data representation that should be outlined very clearly when we are presenting the data as a visualization when we are designing the data or converting your information into graphical representation we need to consider all these factors so which are all the key points to present your information in a better way the first one is informative so whatever we are presenting as a graphical representation that should be more informative means that should be very clear and efficient way no ambiguity should be there so it should be not raise any further question when i look into the diagram it should be adequate enough to provide all the inputs okay that should be efficient diagram or efficient graphical representation what is mean by appealing the look and feel of the graphical representation say for an example you are presenting a graphical representation bar or chart that should be more appealing to the target audience that should be very impressive so it should be attractive always less is more attractive when you present all together in a single slide it will make some clumsiness okay we have to avoid those kind of presentation the next one is interactive so we are when we are looking to the diagram we are capable to predict the insights four sides of the data so that is very necessary finally what are all the advantages of data visualization so from this all you can able to understand it is simplest form of presenting the complex data so we can present the complex data in a very convenient manner or in effective manner so it is used to identify the patterns and trends very easily so decision making so when you look into the outliers and trends in other words strength and weakness of a system it is easy for me to make some decision making so it is facilitating better decision making then it is a superior method so it is connected to the human cognitive system so obviously it is a better method to present your complex data in a visualization format and it is quite easy to share my huge amount of data using the graphical representation so it is connect with the real time monitoring system and it is used for or it is supports for the predictive analytics finally it is increasing the accessibility for the end users to summarize all together okay we have to avoid distortion of true stories when we are converting the data into pictorial representation we have to avoid distortion of the true story and we have always remember the objective of the presentation so we should not be deviated from the substance it's not about the graph it is about for what context we are presenting the graph should be reachable to the target audience and it should be very depth 
uh, when we are presenting the data in pictorial representation, it should reveal the data at several layers of detail. It is helpful for us to understand the depth of the data. And it supports the statistical and verbal description using the insights. And finally, less is more always attractive and impactful. So when we are presenting the data as pictorial representation, we need to consider all those things. Thank you for watching this video.